So to download your information, you go here to connect to your receiver. Oh wait, maybe I should first show you the settings of the receiver. So when you want to set this program up to your Z Gamma box, you go to Tools, Program Setup. I have mine set up here. But you first you want to name your box. Then you want to enter your box IP, like this right here. Your box IP will be whatever the IP address is that your router assigns to it. And then you want to set it to root as your username. And uh, and then set it to Enigma to ver for Telnet Reload for that connection. And it gets all these settings. And then you can test your configuration. It has. So it has all the stuff there. Everything's okay. It's okay. Now, when I do this in Linux, I get an error message. It doesn't work. And the program crashes, which tells me it's just a setting I have in Wine. But that's okay. We're just going to show you. A lot of people are going to do this in Windows anyway. That's fine. So you go in there. So that's your settings. Once you get to that, you can get to this and you see all your setup. So one thing you can do is you go to your read write. And then that will allow you to read the settings off your Z Gamma box. And there we have all of the settings, TV all. This thing, it comes default with all these European satellites preloaded. So yeah, I have my ATSC channels here. So right now I'm looking at the local channel. And it tells me all the information about the local channel using the ATSC tuner. So these are all the channels that I was able to scan in here. So it has a list of all the channels that I've scanned in, all my 97 West channels. So yeah, if I click on this TV box picture here, that's how I can switch to service, selected service. So right now I had it on <clears throat> my uh, local ATSC TV channel. And now I have it on the satellite. So to just give an idea of how it reads, now when I click the button on the satellite for the SNR that shows up when I press OK, it says it's about 42, 43 on a lot of the channels. But then when I look over here at whatever this is, the A, doesn't tell me what AC, AGC, whatever that stands for, it gives me 78% which it's coming in really good. It's just um, like the picture quality is fine. It's just not getting 100%, which I did notice when I first looked at the receiver, it reads the signals a little differently. BYU, this is on BYU. Okay, this is, this is interesting. So I did a little check here and I went to the settings and I did I clicked on one thing, the passive settings, and I was able to do test configuration and get everything okay instantly like that. So that's interesting. And then I was able to download all of the uh, bouquet info. Bouquet, favorite list, you know, the whole thing. It's weird that they use that name for it. If I were to click on that, and then you see the signal quality jump up because it's the over-the-air transponder, and it's coming in really good. I've done a scan and it's mixed up all your over the air channels or you want to put them in an order you can create a favorite list and do it through here as well and help donate so yeah donate to dreamset so that they can create a linux version of this program that would natively run on linux but it looks like i have what i'm seeing here is uh it's working in linux working under wine uh, receiving all the data it has that older Windows version, whatever it might might be. Maybe someone can explain to me better about Wine and how to get something like this to work in Wine. I did add other programs in Wine for network configuration and stuff, which I forget what it was because I just said, okay, this is for Wine, this is for Wine. I'll just install everything until I can get it to work. And in this computer, I was able to get it to work under Wine. Are you looking for a satellite dish? Are you looking for a C-band satellite dish? Are you looking for a mesh dish? The place you want to go to to find that is Tech 2000. Tech 2000, 
Check out Tech 2000 for all of your satellite products for free to air satellite reception. In conclusion, thank you for watching. So this is a great little program if you want to edit your channels or you got channels that you're not interested in or you want to rename your channels. And it will, um, I, I don't know if there's a way to do it within the receiver, but this receiver is definitely, if you're into networking, using your computer um, to, uh, to interface with things and you're into stats and everything, you'll really enjoy this program. Help my channel to become more popular under the for the satellite community. And thank you for watching.